Today, we will talk about the costs of responsible cat ownership. Being a responsible owner of a cat carries with it certain financial obligations. If you are not in a position or are not willing to meet these costs, it may be better not to take in a cat. If your budget is tight, but you are willing to make certain sacrifices for the sake of having the pleasures of a cat in your life, then you may be able to accomplish that dream. It is difficult to resist that cute kitten in the free-to-a-good home box or that friendly stray on the street who begs to come home with you. But if you can't afford to give it the bare necessities, you are probably doing the cat or kitten no favor. Fortunately, you have options if your love for cats far outweighs your means to properly care for them. Basic Cat Needs Cats have certain basic needs, which often divide the difference between a stray on the street and a cat in a home with a responsible caregiver. These needs include Food of the highest quality you can afford A safe indoor-only environment with a few exceptions Spay or neutering provided by a veterinarian Core vaccinations provided by a veterinarian An annual veterinary examination Emergency veterinary care when a cat is sick If you are not prepared to pay for these, you can't afford to own a cat Costs of cat care. These costs vary by location, size, age, and health of your cat, and are just general estimates, but they will give you a sense of the cost you would incur. Quality food. Good quality cat food can be between $15 to $30 a month. Consider that you'd spend more for one dinner at a restaurant. Litter box and litter. You can obtain a litter box for $6 to $500 for a deluxe self-cleaning box. A 14-pound bag of the world's best cat litter costs around $17, and regular scooping should make it last almost two months for one cat. You might pay more for one lunch for yourself. Spay or neutering. Many low-cost spay and neuter clinics in the United States might provide the service for under $50 for a neuter and under $70 for a spay. A private veterinarian might charge in the neighborhood $200 for a neuter and over $400 for a spay. This cost is minuscule compared with the cost of treating an abscess caused by fighting in an unneutered male or aborting or treating mom cat and newborn kittens resulting from an unexpected pregnancy. Core vaccinations. The cost will vary depending on the risk factor in your own cat and rabies laws in your area. As with spaying and neutering, there are many low-cost vaccination clinics available. Expect $80.160 for the complete first-year series. Annual veterinary examination. A thorough examination, including dental and a blood profile, will run from $100 to $200. Emergency veterinary care. There is no real way to estimate these costs since they vary as to the age, overall condition, and accident proneness of the cat. Veterinary insurance can mitigate these costs somewhat. Lacking that, set aside money every month for a vet emergency fund of at least $10 per week or get a $1,000 to $2,000 credit card and put it away in a drawer to be earmarked for cat emergencies only. Hard times. There will come times when illness, death of a spouse, or sudden loss of income will drastically affect the kinds of care you can give your cat. Explore areas where compromises can be made in cat care costs. Cat food expenses. Certainly, food choices can be compromised somewhat by buying the least expensive premium cat foods, buying larger bags of dry food, or even supplementing premium cat food with grocery store brands until finances improve. Cat litter savings, chicken crumble, such as Purina's Laina brand, which is around $10, $20 for a 50-pound bag, makes a good temporary substitute for litter. Litter costs can also be mitigated by purchasing the largest bag available. Ask for payment terms from the veterinarian. Some veterinarians will allow you to pay off an emergency bill in weekly or monthly installments. You can even offer to write post-dated checks, but be sure they will clear. Borrow. Borrow from family, friends, or your local bank, if possible. 
Ask your credit card holder for a temporary increase in your limit, but be sure to make at least the minimum payment the following month. Care Credit, U.S. and Canada, offers loans for veterinary emergencies. Pawn or sell possessions. Look around your house and see what you can afford to give up, then hold a yard sale or sell your items online. Veterinary Expenses Some cat owners have stretched the period between annual well care examinations for younger, healthy cats. Note, it is always recommended to follow your veterinarian's advice for veterinary care. Having established a previous relationship working with your veterinary team, as well as clear communication upfront on your budget limitations, can help them work better with you when planning for your pet's care. This underscores the importance of being a responsible caregiver in all ways. You owe your cat no less. The Tragic Price of Irresponsibility The Humane Society of the United States estimates that in the United States, 1.5 million cats and dogs are euthanized in shelters each year one millions of other cats, eke out a frail existence on the street and meet tragic early deaths. These needless tragedies can be traced directly to people who behaved irresponsibly, even if they had good intentions. Volunteering rather than ownership. If you love cats but can't afford to provide responsible care, do the really unselfish thing and volunteer at a shelter instead of taking on another cat. Most shelters could not operate without volunteers, and volunteers quickly learn the realities of the lives of companion animals and the consequences of irresponsible pet ownership. It would be a win-win situation. You would be able to get your regular cat fix without guilt, and the shelter cats would benefit from your loving care. The Essentials you finally brought your ball of fluff back home, but before you settle in and get used to one another, you must cover the essentials of cat ownership. Keep in mind that many of these essentials also depend on how much your cat may eat if you're raising an indoor cat or outdoor cat, and on the state of their health. As both you and your new pet begin to settle in, you'll need to take them to get a checkup at the veterinary office or even a dental cleaning. These procedures are ideal to calm any worries that you may have in the early stages, and by finding out about any potential problems early on, you have a higher chance of your cat having a full and happy life in the future. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. Before you go, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.